So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to check your IWEs from the solenoid down. Basically, I grab the tire here and I move it with no vacuum on the system. And you see how the CV axle is actually moving with the tire. And then you can see up here, I pulled those vacuum lines off. And I have my vacuum tester hooked up to the big port. The little port's just a vent. There's no vacuum on it right now at all. So then now I'm going to apply vacuum to remove the IWE engagement from the actual wheel bearing hub assembly. So I've got vacuum applied and now I'm moving the wheel and it's free spinning. No axle movement at all. That means that IWE is holding vacuum. It's disengaging. And now I look back at my gauge and I monitor it. Nothing's bleeding off. That IWE diaphragm is good. So then I bleed it back off and then I grab the wheel and spin it again. The CV axle is now moving exactly with the wheel. The IWE is engaged. So that tells me that IWE is good. Now I'm going to go up to the firewall and pull the top port off of the solenoid. Hook my vacuum tube up to that because it supplies pressure or it supplies vacuum to both ports. And then go down there and spin it. Now you can see here my wheel is free spinning. No CV axle engagement. Which means my vacuum tubes from the solenoid down to the IWEs is also good. So I've proved out my lines from the solenoid down. Free spinning, no CV axle engagement. Now I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to bleed my pressure off and make sure that they engage with no, I mean, no vacuum on it. So everything's bled off. CV axles now begin to engage with the rotor. You see it's fighting me. It's not wanting. They're not turning anymore. That's because now the axles are engaged. And I go over to the other side and make sure this one does the same thing. And it is engaged and the axle is actually turning with the hub assembly and the rotor. That's your solenoid, that vent cap. Sometimes you can pop that vent, vent cap off of there if you're careful. And you could actually clean debris out from underneath it to make sure. This time it didn't want to come off. I would need a pocket screwdriver, but I didn't want to go tampering with it. Sometimes I'll tap on it and jar it to see if I see any debris coming out from underneath that vent cap. And there's your supply line. That there's your uh, part number there, seven or FL three four seven A seven six eight AC. That line is the supply line from the booster in the vacuum reservoir. It goes over and it ties into the main vacuum line coming from the engine to your brake booster. When you typically do a repair, you replace all this. During normal operation. There's vacuum applied to those IWEs all the time. That's what disengages them in four and in two-wheel drive. Sometimes in two-wheel drive, you'll hear a clicking sound coming from those front left or front right hub assembly, and that's because those IWEs are bad. There's a hole in the vacuum line, or the vacuum solenoid itself is not doing its job. So when we go to do a repair, we will replace the the line with the little white check valve. We'll replace that. Sometimes we'll also replace the vacuum solenoid as well as an IWE. That's one of the diaphragm uh, engagement mechanisms on both front wheel. If it's bad enough and that IWE has been chattering long, we'll actually replace the wheel bearing with it also because the IWE engages to the wheel bearing, which then is attached to the rotor face and stuff through the CV axle going through the center of the, the wheel hub, the wheel bearing splined area. So this is a quick way to check your IWEs and make sure they're not leaking, the diaphragms aren't blown out, and that they're actually working properly, and then how to check your lines from the solenoid down. Thank you, guys.